Hi, ECHL Week comes to you from very chilly, very windy Anchorage, Alaska, home of the Hockey Heritage Weekend and the 2014 ECHL Hall of Fame Induction Luncheon. One of the highlights of the Hockey Heritage Weekend was the 2014 ECHL Hall of Fame Induction Luncheon. different places and um, the loyalty and the passion you uh, have towards your players is, is incredible. You know, you know, players you just show a little passion on the ice and put the effort, uh, I believe Al was saying, you put the effort in and the fans will uh, stand behind you no matter what the score is. And, uh, and that's what I loved when I first came here. I guess I kind of didn't really believe it until we actually got to Alaska and actually Early, earlier today, it was like it's really sinking in, and it was uh, becoming a reality. And uh, you know, it's a great honor, and my family and I couldn't be more happy that it was here in Anchorage, and uh, and we're just happy with the whole the way everything's turned out. I just kind of would, went out and did my job, so to speak, and. Uh, and now that uh, I'm finished playing, it, it is nice to hear those things, obviously, that, uh, you know, to get the validation that uh, you did, uh, you know, did well with the Aces and uh, Victoria and left my mark kind of with the teams that I played on. It's, it's definitely nice to hear those things. Tell me a good story from your playing days that we can tell on television. <laughs> yeah. Tell me one good story. I don't know if we can tell any. Uh, actually, the... <laughs> The funny thing is, now that I've played in Alaska, I remember coming up here with Victoria, with my roommate, and we had our, you know, you wake up in the morning, head into the rink around 10 o'clock, and you open the blinds, and it's pitch black. And I remember on, on that occasion, I was like, God, I could never play in Alaska. You know, you're just like, it seems so dark and so dreary. And for now, the, to go for full circle, and obviously I played here a couple of years, and uh, and it is quite a, an amazing city to play for and in and the fans and the organization from top to bottom is just, you know, A class. Uh, very excited to be a member of the ECH Hall of Fame. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the organizing committee here in Alaska. Incredible event uh, for my family and I to experience Alaska in this way. I don't, I don't think we could have scripted it any better. Uh, with these events, you have the opportunity to meet the families behind the player, behind the person. And over the last 24 hours, I've met some incredible, wonderful people who share some incredible stories about their inductees. And uh, the Spoltor family and the Edwards family, the Golder, Goldie family were three of those people. It was in the, its infancy when I started in the league in 1991. It only was a couple years old. Uh, it really was the only place to go and play. If you were leaving college or junior, you didn't have a lot of options. I believe there were 11 teams, so most players didn't leave college. They just retired and started a job. Uh, but the guys that wanted to try and make it to the NHL, it was the place to go. NHL, or sorry, ECHL, American League, NHL, it's the way you had to do it. So uh, for me, it, created, it gave me a great opportunity. Uh, it was like that stepping stone to the next level. Unfortunately, I made it to the American Hockey League, but I, I got an opportunity to, to make another career out of it by getting into the business side, the management side. Everybody has to stick their foot in the door when that chance comes, and I thought, uh, you know what, this is my good opportunity. At 25, I became an assistant GM, basically the GM of the team at 25, and 22 years later, you know, I'm in a good position with the Blackhawks. Right now, if, if somebody says ECHL to you, What's the first thing that comes to your mind? The word opportunity, and it really that's what it is. It's an opportunity. What you make of it is up to you. If you go there again just for the fun and the sun, there's lots of great places, but it, create, it is an opportunistic job as a hockey player. You can play hard, look for opportunity, or you can just go have fun. It's your choice. Uh, life's about choices. Hockey Heritage Weekend in Anchorage, Alaska is an exciting time for hockey fans and a lot of those fans, plus Aces fans too, are here enjoying the two-game series between Alaska and Stockton and also looking at all of the hockey memorabilia sent here courtesy of the Hockey Hall of Fame. Let's take a look at the highlights of the first of those games. Here are Mike Benton and Matt Shasby giving us the details. What you are looking at, definitely a stickle. Dallas Seavey, the 2012 Iditarod champ, the youngest mushered by the way to win 
the Iditarod, helping usher the Stanley Cup right out to center ice here in Anchorage. What a scene this is. It is the oldest trophy in pro sports as far as the one presented to North American athletes. And what you are witnessing at center ice, the ceremonial puck drop, also including ECHL Commissioner Brian McKenna and Commissioner Emeritus Patrick J. Kelly. No score, Stein keeps in, Boutin flips it wide of the net. McLeod now right corner, collecting on the walkout right hash. Drop one of the back, Constance. Two McLeod in the slot, shot, save, rebound, Burkett scores. He's up the rebound. Boston's got to get those sticks in front of the net. Fifth goal of the season, Burr Kemper. Dr. Molly of the Aces takes it away. On the center, she back the relay, Mazzolini. Got on by Dow Hughes in, Mazzolini on net to the butt, to down the score! <laughs> going back door. All Conley has to do is leave his stick on the ice. Mazzolini's going to find him there, sliding their back door. Unbelievable pass by Nick Mazzolini. Mazzolini lets the pass go. Connolly picks up right corner again. We're tied at one first period. Siska to Connolly. Right circle to shot. He scores! <laughs> On the Mazzolini right side. Stockton zone. Hits the brakes. Wrist shot. Missed it wide. And a rebound to the corner. Arson gave it away. Connolly. Mazzolini scores! Wrist shot blocked this now. Brewston off for Miller. They exchange. Brewston shoots. Save made. Rebound to Martin. Put it off the side of the net and just a flex wide. Joey Martin had opened that and missed. Also Evan Truck. Got the controls. On the move now. Right side Martin. Drop one back. Miller. Wrist shot wide. Rebound. Deflection. And they score. Joey Martin from an impossible angle with 10 minutes and 22 seconds to play in the third period. Taking away sticks, keep the puck down in their end. There goes Foster for the extra attacker. Hunt, wrist shot, left wing, save, rebound, and Fred Brewston put it off this side of the net. That close. 60 seconds left. Puck cleared. Here comes Sivak. Empty net, he shoots, he scores! ECHL players talk about their relatives at the Olympics. Straight ahead on ECHL Week. 25 years of great moments. More than 500 players graduated to the NHL. Don't miss the next time hockey history is made. Watch all ECHL games on AmericaOneSports.com. Live or on demand. At home or on your mobile device, log in at AmericaOneSports.com to check out your favorite team. The official broadband broadcast of ECHL is AmericaOneSports.com. Where have hundreds of NHL players gotten their professional starts? The ECHL. And where do you find out about the ECHL? ECHL Week. On television or online. ECHL Week is the only show that brings you everything that's happening league-wide. Every week, watch ECHL Week. If you were any closer to the action, you'd be in the lineup. Millions of eyes around the world have been on Sochi, Russia since the 22nd Winter Olympics started earlier this month. And there are a number of ECHL team members who are watching the Olympic ice hockey competitions with more than the usual interest. Five league players have siblings involved in those games. Let's hear from them and how they feel about their family members skating on the world ice hockey stage.
Yeah, well, we talk a lot. He's helped me so much with, during my hockey career. Uh, he's an unbelievable guy, uh, best brother that a guy could wish for. And my my career, I don't know. I just want to play the best uh, the best I can here and try to prove prove myself to people above uh, East Coast League. We would always play street hockey out in front of the house and. Uh, you know, my brother plays also. He actually just got called up here, so uh, you know he plays too. And we're, we're all pretty competitive. So, um, you know, when we would be playing street hockey, like if it, if we were near the grass or anything, it would just be full contact. So, uh, you know, it got pretty uh, it got pretty intense out there with some fights and stuff like that. But you know, I, I think at the end of the day, it was good for us. It kind of made us, you know, who we are today. So, um, you know, it, it, it they were fun times. I remember uh, living back in Westfield. You know, uh, just anything by the uh, by the lawn was uh, full check. So you know, everyone was going full body all the time, and uh, you know that's pretty much what got us here. You know, playing tough all the time and just building off each other and just you know having fun. You know, when she got to prep school, uh, she went to Berkshire for four years, and uh, uh, that's when she started really playing girls full time. And, uh, you know, she had a great career there. Um, I think it helped her in terms of decision making. Um, she really slowed the game down, uh, you know, always hit the outlet pass. And, you know, that's what she's known for. That's what she's good for. She's a defensive player. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I think it only helped her out. And uh, I think it was a great decision, obviously, for my parents to, to, make, to have her play boys hockey. Um, I'm going to encourage her for sure. I'd say, uh she, she's a great defenseman. I mean, it's tough for me to even get around her. So I mean, whatever she does is great. I mean, she's a she's a great defenseman, and uh, hey, she's she is where she is for a reason. So she's just got to run with it, and uh, she'll be fine. Yeah, we, we talk once in a while. Sometimes it's uh, it's tough to keep up with each other because everyone's in a different part of the world. It seems like uh, at certain points, but uh, you know, we all follow each other and see how each other are doing, and uh, it's it's. Uh, very humbling and uh, very proud for me to, to watch my sister succeed and uh, you know when you set your dreams very high and you seem to go out and achieve those uh, it's really proud to sit back and watch and see those good things happen. I used to talk to him every once in a while a little bit hard right now with them being uh, over in Russia obviously but uh, I don't want to bother them with their, their busy schedules this year the way that they've had to uh, been traveling around a lot and a lot, a lot more games quickly and you know, I get to see them every once in a while whenever I can, but uh, you know, I let them uh, let them do their stuff, but we, we definitely stay in touch. One year with my brother on uh, the same team, Pee Wee's, was uh, my first year Pee Wee's was his second year, and so it was really really special year for us to get to play together that year, but uh, definitely growing up, we, uh, we got on the ice whenever we could together, and uh, we're fortunate enough to uh, have a rink pretty close to us, and the three of us would go out there and skate around, but... Uh, Mostly working on skill stuff. We don't want to play too many games against each other. It could uh, get a little bit too competitive. In addition to the ECHL Hall of Fame induction luncheon and Hockey Heritage Weekend, the Alaska Aces were hosting the Stockton Thunder for a couple of regular season ECHL matches. For the second Hockey Heritage Weekend matchup, the intensity was decidedly higher as seen here just seconds into the pregame warm-up. As a result of this activity and some other battles directly before, four players were suspended. But that just added to the excitement of the Alaska fans as former ace Wes Goldie dropped the puck just after his number 16 was retired to the rafters of Sullivan Arena. Now Mike Benton and Matt Shaspi fill us in on Hockey Heritage Weekend Game 2. Tonight, Off the draw, Escobedo shoots and scores! Sean Escobedo from the left circle faceoff drilled that one right on through with one minute and nine seconds gone by. As the Aces look for a change here with 13.24 to go. Padon towards center, gave it away. Here's Seabats open right side. Shoot, score! Go over to in your own zone. It's going to be 91. Seabats does a nice job picking his pocket. He comes in. He's looking low blocker the whole way. Seabats right circle. 1-1 one, one tie. Seabats down low. Mazzolini stops. And he scores! Nice job of finding him on the goalie. Kind of gives a little fake pass across the Connolly. The goalie slides over, leaves his post, puts his short side shelf. Consistent domination, offense domination. This match win is putting on In front, Jordan Morris and shoots. He scores! Here's Evan Thrupp in the corner, dancing, centering Davies. A shot, goal! Zach Davies! For further games, 
defending. Easy gel review. Escobedo drops it. And shot club save. Gerald Coleman. And then Matt Underhill is able to lead it. Ring Darby. Empty net. He scores! Right off the base off. Two more members of the Hall of Fame Class of 2014, next on ECHL Week. Are you paying too much with your current payroll company? Are you concerned about how Obamacare could affect your business? If you're interested in a better, more cost-effective solution, Einstein HR is the answer. No more stressing out about Obamacare and the new regulations. No more worrying about being in compliance. No more overpriced payroll services. Let Einstein HR get you back to the business of doing business instead of spending needless hours and frustration taking care of details that add nothing to your bottom line. We provide a first-class payroll and HR services with superior customer service. Call Einstein HR today. My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Alaska Aces Ice Crew, and you're watching ECHL Week. Two more men were inducted into the ECHL Hall of Fame during Hockey Heritage Weekend activities. Let's find out more about James Edwards and John Spoltor. What a great fan base. If I could just have 50% of those people, I'd still be in business. <laughs> He said he couldn't take credit for bringing Alaska into the ECHL. I can't. <laughs> I'm pleased with what we were able to do. Disappointed that I couldn't make it work. I, I truly wanted to keep Johnstown in the ECHL, but it, it just became an economic impossibility. The business model just wouldn't work. Do people remind you and say about how great to great times they had over the years? There? Oh yes, uh, obviously Slapshot comes up more often than not, uh, and people are are amazed at getting into the building. Now it's been remodeled. They put a lot of changes in it, and and it's not the the arena that we had when we had Slapshot. But but they visiting teams always came in and they did the tour first before they went to the locker room. It, it's a tough business, and and uh, you have to you have to really work hard on all aspects of the of the team. You have the fan base. You've got to make sure you're satisfying the fan base. You have to put an entertaining team on the ice. Uh, if you if you have the right mix of players and the right locker room chemistry, you can you can make it into a successful organization. The fans knew. They all knew. 
You know, we were lucky. He was always on the AAA All-Star team in uh, Kitchener, so we never worried about him being cut from any of those teams. Uh, drafted into the Ontario Hockey League, so you always hope that uh, there's a possibility of that. And, and his whole life was hockey, and uh, so we uh, hoped right along with him that he would someday make it into, you know, higher levels and the Hall of Fame. But, you know, when he was in the Ontario Hockey League, uh, they played the Kitchener Rangers, the hometown Kitchener Rangers, a number of times. He loved coming home because there was the Niagara Falls, uh, Kitchener Owen Sound swing and so he just loved coming home visiting with friends visiting with family and uh, he had a huge entourage because he played in the Ontario Hockey League we followed him to Belleville and Kingston and Ottawa and London and Windsor always happy to come home for Christmas uh, was the first guy out of town at the end of the year to come home to family and friends and he was just a, a really great family and friend uh, person. When people ask you about your dad what do you tell them? Well, he was like very funny and he like would just make up words to the song like if he didn't know it in the car or he would just like goof around or when our dog would do something bad he would put him in the penalty box and like hold him down. I'm just very proud of him. A look back at the color and excitement of Hockey Heritage Weekend when ECHL Week continues. take me to the hospital. I feel like a fish with no water. You know how to react to their asthma attacks. Here's how to prevent them. Visit www.noattacks.org or call your doctor. Because even one attack is one too many. I've got a job to do today. I've got a job to do today. Your donations to Goodwill fund job training programs right in your community. Feels good to start fresh, right? Sure does. And like that, you're a job creator. Fame members, two entertaining games, the Stanley Cup, and a celebration of hockey history in Alaska. Let's take one more look at the ECHL's 2014 Hockey Heritage Weekend.
It's been a busy, exciting Hockey Heritage Weekend here in Anchorage, Alaska. Until next time, make it a good week. Make it an ECHL week.